Hi, my name is Margaret. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the enhanced for loop. I start by declaring a data source. It's an integer array. I call it numbers. And I'm going to initialize it with the following numbers 2, 4, 6, and 8. And now I'm going to print. Let me just move the cursor here. That's kind of annoying. Um, now I'm going to print a for loop to, so we can see the content of our array. And I do this uh, in the traditional way. I say for integer i is 0. Now here, my i is the index of my array elements. I walk through all my indices. i is less than numbers dot length. And I'm going to increment by 1 because I want to print all of my array elements. And the way I print them is by using system out printf. And here comes my number followed by a blank to separate them. And in order to access my individual numbers of the array, I use the array name, numbers, and the index in brackets. So let's see how that looks like. I'm going to compile and run. And I can see 2, 4, 6, 8. Those are my numbers. Now I'm going to add a new line. And I want to show you how you can print the same elements from the same array in a different way. This time I'm going to use a enhanced for loop, also called a for each loop. It goes like this. For integer element in numbers. And there's the body of my loop. Here I'm doing something. In my particular situation, I'm printing them. I say system out print f first the number then a space and here is my element that i'm printing i can see there's the same keyword for but in the context of an enhanced for loop i pronounce it as for each so when i'm reading this header i would say for each integer element in numbers and this integer is an integer because each element of numbers is an integer. It's an element from an integer array. If that was a um, character array, I would have to say for character element in my character array. I also want to point out that in my original loop, I used my control variable as the index. So I start my index as zero, I go all the way up, until I reach my last element, length minus 1, I increment by 1. And then I access each element using that index, which is my control variable. In my for each loop, I just say, give me all the elements. Now here is already my element. There's no need to index. It's already there as the element of my array or as the element of my collection. Now I want to show you one more example. I'm going to take everything that is in my main method. I'm going to extract it to a method. And I'm going to do that to make my main method a little bit easier to read and more clear. Here I say private, static, void, demo for each with int array. And there goes my demo that I just did before. And now, just to make sure that everything works as it used to, I'm going to paste it back to my main method, run it one more time. You can see we're still printing the um, elements of numbers first with the traditional for loop, then with the enhanced for loop. I 
as a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, terminate that with another new line at the end. What I want to show you next is how to create a character ray, just so you can see how a for each look can be used in different context. So I say, well, I have a character array. I call it uh, vowels, and I initialize it with a e, i, o, and u. And now I want to print all my vowels, and I say, for each character element in vowels, I'm going to print my element. Percent C because this time we are dealing with characters. Once again, I'm going to add a space, and here comes my character. Now let's compile, run, and here are my vowels. So I'm going to open up the original uh, enhanced for loop so you can compare. You can see for each integer element in numbers for each character element in numbers. Very important, my element always has the type that is specified when I create my array or my collection. So here I'm dealing with a character array. Each element is a character. Now when I'm printing, I say printf percent d element because my elements were from an integer array. So each element in numbers happens to be a number, a digit. Different in my character situation, I say I'm printing percent %c element because my element is a character, it comes from a character array. Once again, I'm going to extract the code that I have here into a method. I'm just uh, taking it like this. Control X, private, static, void, demo, character, uh, for each with char array. Now here is my new method call. I say demo for each with char array and when I compile that and run that you can see here are my characters my character array. So now it is your turn. What I would like you to do is the following. I would like you to create a double array. I would like you to initialize it with 1.1, 2.2 and 3.3. And I would like you to use a for each loop to iterate through all the elements of the array and to print all the elements. So at this point, I would like you to give yourself a moment, pause the video, write the code, and when you're ready, press continue. So here is something to compare it with. I have a variable of type double array. My variable is called numbers. I initialized it with an array initializer. The values are 1.1 to 3.3. And here is my for each loop. You can see for each double element in numbers. Important we have double as the type of the element because my element is from a double array. And when I print, I need a percent %f, like floating point, because this is the type of my element. So let's compile and run. And there we go. At this point, I have one last thing I would like to change, and those are those superfluous extra zeros at the end. I don't like them. I can just say, uh, percent dot one f and this is going to restrict my output to a single digit after the decimal point so here we go 1.1 2.2 3.3 
This is it for now. See you next time.